the cosinus rule. Well, the cosinus rule say, uh, 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 shows a property of triangles. So if we have two line segments, AB and AC, they make an angle phi, then we know that Z squared, which is the opposite line segment CB, uh, equals x squared plus y squared minus 2xy cosinus phi. We're going to prove this in two cases. First, where the angle is acute, which means that it's basically between 0 and half pi, or when phi is larger, in, in case of which we speak of an obtuse angle. We're going to prove the, uh, the acute angle case. So now look at the triangle ABC. And look at ADC. So we have here H of the line segment perpendicular to AB. So we know that H squared plus Y squared minus Y squared cosine squared, which is actually this angle y squared is that squared plus this one squared, but this is y squared cosine squared. And if we look at the triangle DBC, we get the same thing, that z squared is db squared plus h squared. So h squared is z squared minus x minus y cosine phi, yeah, which is basically x minus this part. So what we have here is we get two expressions for h squared. So we get h squared minus i, uh, uh, i squared minus i squared cosine squared, etc. On the right hand side we get this expression. So what we obtain now is z squared is, we gonna put this on the other side over here. So it's y squared minus y squared cosine squared plus x squared minus 2xy cosine phi plus y squared. So now see that here, these terms here, they cancel out, so that we obtain z squared equals x squared plus y squared minus 2xy cosine phi. Well, this is actually the cosine rule. So now the, the obtuse angle case. Yeah, there's not a lot different, but we now have the the orthogonal thing here, CD, is now outside the triangle. So look at the triangle ADC, and we get Y squared is this piece squared times H squared. So H squared is Y squared minus Y squared cosine of pi minus phi, which is the angle over here. Well, in the triangle DBC, we have the same thing, except now h squared is z squared minus this part, including that part. Yeah, so this part is y times cosine of pi minus phi, and this part is y, uh, x, so h squared is z squared minus x plus y cosine is pi minus phi squared. So again, we have two expressions for h squared. So we put this equal to that one. Equals z squared minus x plus y cosine is pi minus phi squared. So we're going to elaborate on this. We're going to work this out. Again, we're going to put this term on the other side, but also recall that the cosinus of pi minus phi equals minus the cosinus of phi. Now, the cosinus of pi minus phi equals the cosinus of phi. So z squared equals y minus y squared the cosinus of phi 
minus 2xy cosine is 5 plus y squared plus y squared cos cosine is squared 5. x squared still. So now we find x squared plus y squared minus 2xy cosine is phi. Since here the term would be y squared cosine is squared phi cancels out again. 